With the recent banning of Grief and Nadu, many might think Midrange is gone because Grief was the best threat, but we're going to be showing you a sweet rock brew. But when looking at this list, there are some really cool cards. As you can see at the top end, we have Gris the Hunger Tide, which is a powerful planeswalker, and a new card, Six. Six is a three mana, two, four with reach that whenever you attack, you mill three cards and you can put a land card from among them into your hand. But the powerful effect of this is during your turn, non-land permanent cards in your graveyard have retraced. And other powerful spells in this list include Nether Gold, Orcish Bowmasters, and of course, an Urza Saga's package. So we're going to be taking this sweet list through a League of Modern and showing you why Rock is finally back after the ban. Just a friendly reminder before the first match starts to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the play, and starting hand looks fine. We'll go turn one Fetch Shock and do a Thoughtseize. Looks like we're up against a Yawgmoth Gamer, and we will take a Court of Common. And it goes turn one Shock into a Delighted Halfling. We top deck a Saga, pretty good pick up here. We'll play that into a Goyf. And it plays out a Shifting Woodlands into a Soul Cauldron. Graveyard Trust. Passer, pretty good. Play out our swamp, good combat, tack in with the goif, and they exile our thoughts use, then go for a block. An opponent plays out a malevolent rumble. They mill over grist, wall of roots, and a blooming marsh, picking up an apatra. Then they play out a one soap teeth, then activate their cauldron. Sadly, we do have the besage of this cauldron, and they pick up a surveil land, milling over eight bow masters. Mm, and in our upkeep, they take out our saga. Yeah, I think we'll just let that go. Pick up our forest, play out a saga into another trespasser, and I think we're gonna exile. Exile the Boatmasters here. Poke in for two. Run plays out a land into an Abatra and a Cutthroat as well. Top deck a Goyf. We will go to combat, tack in, exiling their Wall of Roots, and they just jump here. So play out a tapped Hive into a Goyf and plan on making a Construct. Tap land for the opponent and they do attack in with an Apatra. So we will block their Goyf and they cop their Soul Cauldron with their Shifting Woodlands, exiling our Saga, which means our Goyf is a 1 2 and it does die. So on end step, we will make a Construct. Our Trespasser flips. We draw into a Boatmasters. Good draw make a construct we will pick up a spell bomb cast out our bow masters here taking out their cutthroat then go to combat tack in with the team exile in their cutthroat and soul cauldron an opponent jump blocks here and they're down to six and opponent scoops it up let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out two shield exceeded two with a boom command and a gris for soul guide lantern pithy needle disrupting flute and two surgical extractions game two starting hand looks great i'll go turn one forest into halfling we pick up a soul guide lantern we'll go takanuma into an inquisition and i think we're just gonna take the malevolent rumble here oh shocks a tomb into a soul cauldron and they attack him for one top deck of six we'll go surveil land we'll bin a goif and fire off a thought seize. and we will take the yagmoth oh wait but they can just exile with uh okay well we're just dead <laughs> we'll see what happens though and step they exile our goif putting a plus one plus one counter on their delighted halfling and it plays out a yagmoth top deck of goif we will play out our soul god lantern try and exile their yagmoth and they activate the cauldron in response i think we'll just sacrifice our cauldron or our soul god lantern and then play out a pithy needle naming Yogmoth. <sighs> Put our top deck grist. They will tick it up, milling over a verdant, and then they attack in for four. We top deck a goif, and I think we'll just hold up a bowmasters here. They tick up, attack with the team, and in step we will flash in bowmasters. And they have a veil of summer. Guess we will shoot ourselves, getting one one. Do find a land, but at this point we're just going to be too far behind, so we'll scoop it up and get on to game three. Game three, starting hand looks great. We'll go turn one fetch shock into a thoughtsies, and I guess we'll just take their veil of summer. Top Take a shadow spear, we'll play out our saga, play out a spell bomb, and then fire off our thoughtsies. And I think we'll just take the grist here. Opponent fetch shocks into a middle of a rumble, and they pick up a grist here. Another saga off the top for us, not a bad one. We'll play out shadow spear, run out our castle, and we'll just take out their Eldrazi spawn now, denying them some mana. Opponent plays out a Besaju into a grist, and they mill over a land. We top took a Tarmogoyf, could draw. We will make a construct, and we'll actually pick up a lava spur boot here play out our saga and equip the spur boots to our construct go to combat send everything at grist here and they do just go for a jump block one plays out a land fires off a bow masters taking out our bow masters then they down tick with their grist taking out our construct we do top deck a land good draw play that out activate saga equip our construct and attack the grist and they end up surveilling a yagmoth into the yard here and they don't let grist go just yet tick up with their grist milling over two things so they do get two insects and then they play out a yagmoth <sighs> we draw pithy needle that's so awkward i think we'll just float a mana here pick up a bobble then we will equip our construct play out our pithy needle and they activate grist in response and they activate yagmoth again draw another card then we will name grist and go to combat and attack the opponent opponent plays out a woodland lands 
So we will just fire off our spell bomb right now. Yeah, okay. And they get a Haywire Might back and they take out our Shadow Spear. We draw a card, pick up a six. We draw a Fatal Push. Uh, I think that does it for us. So we will bobble the opponent. Oh, it doesn't do it. I'm, oh, I'm so dumb. Well, I think we still will take out the Yawgmoth here, then play out our Tarmogoyf and go to combat. I guess we'll take out, no, let's just attack the opponent. We pick up another Goyf in our upkeep. Opponent plays out a Halfling into a Twilight Mire, passing back. Another Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf off the top. Guess we will play that out. Equip up the Tarmogoyf. Tack in with the team. And they cord for two. Picking up a Bowmasters. Shooting us for one. I think they're gonna have to double chump here. Go down to one. And opponent scoops it up. End up taking down this match. So let's get on to the next one. We are on the play and starting hand is extremely aggressive. So I guess we'll try it. We'll lead on turn one Fetch Shock. Into a Goof. Opponent goes turn one Canal. Into a Beardane. We draw a Surveil Land. We will bolt in our Trawler. Play out a Tarmogoyf. And tack in for one. Tap land for the opponent. We top deck a six. We will play our surveil land. Uh, I think we'll bend a land, go to combat, tack in for three. And we'll just hold up Bowmasters here. One plays out an island into a trainer. And they pick up a lightning bolt. Instead, we will fire off a Bowmasters, shooting the opponent for one. Top deck a push. We'll fire that off on the trainer. And they bolt our Goyf. Now our Tarmogoy is huge. We'll go to combat, tacking it in for six. And pass the opponent, holding up a Bowmasters. One plays out another trainer, revealing another lightning bolt. They play a tapped land. And in step, we'll fire off another Bowmasters. Shooting the opponent for one. Draw a castle lock thwain. Then we will go to combat. Attack him with our goif and our orc army. And they block our goif and bolt one of our bowmasters. Then we'll play out our castle lock thwain and run out a six here. Punk cast a flame of the anor, taking out our charmer goif. We draw a bauble. We will go to combat. Attack him with the team. Pick up an urza saga off of our six. And they galvant discharge our bowmasters. But that means we still have lethal here. Yep, they scoop it up knowing that we can just retrace our bowmasters, killing them. So let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out one shield to it for a soul guide lantern. Game two, starting hand just has the cards that we really don't want, like removal, so we got to mold this. Yeah, and our six looks much stronger. We will definitely keep this, and we'll put back a soul guide lantern. We're going to go turn one island and do a prayer drain. Top deck of Goyf, good draw. We will fire off a bobble, look at their top card. Seeing another prayer drain, we will fetch shock, and then fire off an inquisition. And I think we'll just take their counter spell here. Opponent fires off a prayer drain. We top deck a trawler. We will fire off our thoughtsies, and we will take their crackling drake, play out our saga and pass and step they surveil an island into the yard opponent fires off an ei exiling a flood strand playing that out Ooh, top deck of forest good draw play that out and just hold up constructs and step they surveil again keeping a card on top uh, they do find a blood moon that's so tragic we'll make a construct and be super sad top deck a fatal push play out swamp cast out our trawler exile their graveyard go to combat poking for one one plays out their trainer revealing a flame of anor playing out a thundering falls we top deck another boy for a little force their hand here by pushing Pushing the trapper and they kill our trawler and draw two and now we know they have two spell snares in hand so cast out our goif now into our land attack in for one mount for the opponent Ooh, spell bomb great draw fire that off yeah and in response they do play out a snapcaster mage so we'll go to combat attack in with our construct when they do trade and then we'll play out our goif and they just flash back their flame drawing two another land for the opponent they play out their trapper offspringing it getting another copy of it they reveal a lightning bolt into a period in saga is a terrible draw we will go to combat, tag him with the team. They double chump, so we'll just pick up our Gigantha and pass the opponent. Opponent fires off a Pyrdan. They fire off another Pyrdan. And opponent has to go to clean up, discarding his spell snare. We do find a land. That's actually a good draw. We will go to combat, tag him with the team. And it looks like they're going to have to triple spell to get rid of one of these Goyfs. And they do. Interestingly, they get rid of another Goyf. So they're down to eight. We will play out our Heath into a Gigantha. Opponent plays out another Trapper, revealing a Flame of Anor. And they fire that off now, taking out our Gigantha. All of my bad draw. We will go to combat, tag him with our Goyf. Then we will play out our bobble, look at their top, seeing a counter spell. We will play out our nether goyf, exiling bobble, saga, and a trawler. Oh, uh, they have a discharge, didn't realize that they had enough energy for that. I should have played the Saga first. Then we'll just play out our Saga, grow our Goyf, and pass the opponent. Nothing from the opponent. We will go to combat, attack for six. And they flash in a Snapcaster Mage, targeting Flame of Anor, so we will crack our Spell Bomb, and we'll draw a card off of it. Picking up a Tarmogoyf, actually a great draw. And they fire off a Flame of Anor after blocks, and they deal five and draw two. So we will play out our Goyf, play out our Spur Boots, equip it to our Goyf, and pass the opponent. 
opponent plays out an arena of glory we top deck another goy guess we will play that out forcing out their counter spell they don't use counter spell here interesting so we'll try and equip our another goy and go to combat and yeah, they have another snapcaster mage flashing back flame of anor once again and they destroy our spur boots and draw two so we'll still just attack in here and they don't end up killing our goy from the end step that's a good sign but fires off an ei exiling a scalding tarn which they play out and they scoop it up what a wild way to win this game i just did not expect that but anyways let's get on to the next patch we are on the draw and starting hand has no win so we got mole our six looks better and i think we're just put back the redundant grist it goes turn one foundry into a guide another push good draw here we will shock in our tomb and we'll just fire off the push now it goes planes into an amped raptor revealing a flage which they cannot cast let's go cast lock went off the top i think we'll save saga for another turn here and play out our marsh flats or attacks in for two and they play out an oslet pride into a ragavan in step we will surveil and six is pretty good here we'll keep that fire off a push on the pride play out our saga fire off our gris tick up and pass the opponent when it goes to combat attacking us with everything we will trade insect for ragavan and then they play out a static prison into another ragavan thoughtsies is not a bad pick up here i think we will fire off thoughtsies now taking a discharge play out our castle and we'll play the riskier line here of playing out our six and hoping it does not die and no attacks from the opponent on inquisition we will make a construct and we'll pick up a haywire might go to combat attacking with our six pick up a swamp and we will play out a swamp and we'll just hold up a bow masters and our besage here an opponent taxing with the team here we'll block the ragavan with our construct and haywire might the amped raptor for damage we will sack our haywire might getting rid of the static prison and then they fire off a discharge taking out our six up to a swamp pick up our grist we'll fire off an inquisition taking a ragavan play swamp and we'll pick up jacantha here when it goes combat taxing for two and they play out another static prison and we talked like a weather bloom command what an insane draw we will destroy the static prison and mill ourselves for three pick up an urza saga woo doggy what a turn <laughs> we will play out our saga pick up our gris and pack in for one an opponent ends up scooping up there let's get into sideboarding and i don't think we're gonna make any changes here so we'll just submit the deck game two hand is a little weird looking but we'll keep it when it goes turn one floods train we draw a castle we'll go hive into a nether goy it plays out an aether hub into a guide of souls and discharges our nether goy Bobble not a bad draw we will play that out look at our top card in a thought sees our opponent mold the five here so i think i'm kind of inclined to not want a thought sees anymore we will pick up a force in case they do have a blood moon and we're just going to try and deny their energy maker so we will destroy this and we pick up a six much better don't cast out an amp raptor which finds another amp raptor oh another goyf good draw we will shock in our tomb and then cast out two goyfs an opponent tax in with both we will just block both of them and they have a bolt for our first goyf and a discharge for other one pretty good i've took a saga great draw we will play that out and cast out a six and then cast out a nether goyf by retracing it discarding our castle i'm gonna cast out a celestial purge taking out our goyf we get to untap here and i think we'll just cast out our grist here pick up and pass the opponent i'll we'll cast out another purge taking out our grist all swamp we will float a man off saga pick up a shadow spear this way we can actually start attacking with our six up six go to combat attacking with six and we do not mill over a land unfortunate and then we will cast out Tarmogoyf, discarding our swamp. One plays out a Sacred Foundry into Najani. Draw another Tarmogoyf. I think we will go to combat, attack in with six and our Goyf. And we will pick up a Takanuma. And opponent just chumps. Means they get to flip their Ajani. That's fine. We will play out a Tarmogoyf and then retrace another Goyf from our yard. The six card has looked insanely good. Opponent zero is their Ajani, making a cat, going three damage to us. And they scooped up there. Let's get on to the next match. We are on the draw, and so our hand looks fine. Opponent goes turn one Tron piece. We draw a Surveil land. We'll go turn one another Goyf. Opponent plays out another Tron piece into a Talisman. We find a Goyf. We will fetch and cast out our Witherbloom clan, taking out their Talisman and milling us for three. Pick up a land and attack in for three and opponent does have tron unfortunate playing out a one ring and then they play out another talisman we find a shielded edict we will fetch and we'll just play out two goyfs and try and race them somehow opponent draws an additional two with one ring then they cast out a micro spawn taking out one of our lands picking up a tower and they
they play a map cracking up i need another tower we top deck a goif we'll play out our surveillance uh but mesh is a good draw for next turn we will take out their blocker and hopefully have enough to kill them this is two off and then they take two in their upkeep from the one ring so i think we might have done it <laughs> wow we did i don't know how we stole that one let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out four pushes a spell bomb and a trespasser for a needle three damping sphere and two pick your poison game two hand doesn't have any green sources so sadly gonna mull that one and our six is again lacking green mana but at least it has damping sphere so we'll keep this one and we'll get rid of a weather bloom command here turn one tower for the opponent we top deck a shield exceeded we will go turn one in quiz and i think this is a pretty easy talisman pickup one plays out a mine we top deck a goif not a bad one we'll shock in our land and play out a damping sphere <laughs> and they did get natural tron but good thing we have the damping sphere another goif for us we'll play out another goif and on our instep they take out our goif and make a spawn they top deck another land play out a tks and they do take our only castable spell sadly on green source yeah okay well at this point we're gonna be a little bit too far behind i'm gonna scoop it up and let's get on to game three game three again no land so animal six is much stronger and we'll put back the redundant damping sphere three game actions opponent does reveal a devour of destiny so we'll go turn one surveil land and and we'll bin a goif. Our ends up exiling these cards and playing out a power plan. We draw an edict. We will bolt in our land and go turn to goif. Our goes tower into talisman. Another surveil land for us. We're gonna cast out our wither bloom, destroy the talisman, mill ourselves for three. You find a saga. Not a bad pickup. Play that out. Go to combat. Tag in for three. One plays out Tron piece into a devour destinies. We find a haywire might. Not bad. Play that out into a damping sphere. Then play out our surveil land and we will bin the goif. One plays out a land and into a Karn, getting a one ring. Six is not a bad pickup. We will float a man off Saga. We're gonna pick up Pithy Needle. I think we have to name Karn. Then we will Shieldrix Edict their creature and attack the opponent for one. We're gonna cast out a one ring. So in response, we will fire off our Bowmasters. Shoot the opponent for one and they draw a card. So we'll shoot their Karn. Another damping sphere, not terrible. We will take out their Karn. Oh, I meant, uh, I don't know why I attacked them. I'm gonna attack their Karn, whatever, that's okay. Then we will cast out a six. One plays out a Labyrinth. Then cast out a talisman. I'm gonna cast out a Cosmic's command in our upkeep, taking out our bowmasters and making some Eldrazi spawns. And then they draw two in our upkeep. Top deck another six. We will go to combat. I guess we'll attack everything at Karn. End up milling a no lands, unfortunate. And they just end up chump blocking everything. Then we will cast out a nether goif. One takes two in their upkeep, then they draw three. One plays out an expedition map, cracking it, picking up a Besaju. Then they besage you our damping sphere. And then they cast out a devour of destinies, taking out our six. Top deck an inquisition we will go to combat take out their karn then we will fire off an inquisition interesting hand they have wow that's actually really good for us so we'll take the kozlux command we will haywire might the one ring and then we can play out a damping sphere and we should be in a reasonable spot they top deck a land yeah and they cast out their micro spawn kicking it taking out one of our lands and they attack in for six land for us we will cast out our six and we'll hold our land when it kicks out another spawn and then they play out a karn attacking in for six a land for us we will cast out our tarmogoyf discarding land and then play out a verdant ah opponent finds a one ring on a card right away and then they play out a talisman <laughs> top deck of thought sees we will go to combat attack their karn with our tarmac with and then pick up our gigantha don't lose his life then draws two more with one ring <laughs> have another micro spawn wow no tax another thought sees for us we will go to combat attack their tarmac with upkeep opponent loses two ah and then they find an ulmog so we have to scoop it up here and get on to the next match we're on the draw and starting hand looks great Ooh, looks like we're up against a hammer opponent another push great draw we'll play out March flats. Nexus for the opponent. We will go to Surveil Land. Uh, we don't need another land. Besage you, not bad. Play out Castle Lockthwain, and we'll just fire off our uh, with the bloom now. Million for three and take now Scar's aid. And I guess we'll pick up our swamp here. Saga for the opponent. Saga for us. We'll play that out and cast out our or six. Land go from the opponent, find a swamp. We will cast out our Haywar Might from the yard. Sack it, taking out their saga. Go to combat, tack in. No land, sad. Play out our verdant, cast another Haywar Might, discard another swamp. Seems like we have a pretty good lock here. Opponent tacks in, we'll take one. And they fire off a stone forge, picking up a cauldra. So, Incep, I think. I think we'll just push the stone forge. Not even that important though. And opponent just scoops it up there. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're gonna take out Shieldrix, Edict, Grist, Now Spell Bomb, and Trespasser for two pick your poison, disruptor flute, and a pithy needle. Game two, sorry, hand is just a little too land heavy. Yeah, our six is much stronger here. We will keep and put back a bobble. Aramite, not a bad draw. We will fetch shock and fire off turn one inquisition. Uh the only 
one card that I think is a problem here is the Stoneforge Mystic. The only other interesting choice is to take the land spell, but we'll just take the Stoneforge. Oh, it plays out tapped land into a Shadow Spear. Ooh, Goyf, great draw. Saga, Goyf, go. And it plays out their Soul Guide Lantern, exiling our Inquisition. And then plays out a tapped land. It'll push for us off the top, play out Takanuma, go to combat, tack in for two. And in step, they crack their Lantern drawing card. Could have played out the Bowmasters, but I just want to make some constructs here. I'm going to place out a Saga and just scoops it up. So deck ends up going 4 1, which is super impressive. And I think what's even more impressive to me is I really think there are some great changes that this deck could make. I'm really showing that Rock can be viable in this meta. I think, as for like main deck cards, I don't really like. I think Grist is an abysmal card. I've tried it multiple times in Rock's decks. It's not very good in those decks. It's a good card, just not in the Rock. I think Graveyard Trespasser is a little underwhelming. The three mana for the effect is not the best. I would definitely switch that out for something different. And then maybe Shieldrix Edict. That card's fine and all, but you know, it's a little bit weird. I do think everything else looks great. I really like not having Elvish Reclaimer. It felt like a lot more aggressive and like being able to do a lot of different things, which Midrain wants to do. And then as for the sideboard, I just would take out Plague Engineer, maybe Surgical. I think everything else felt pretty impressive. I think Vexing Bobble, as of right now, probably not the best meta call because I haven't seen like any Cascade decks or anything that's casting stuff for free. And especially now that the Grief just got banned and stuff like that, I, I just don't know. It's, it's a fine card. I just, I don't know if it's really meant for this meta yet. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.